So Grandmaster is Marvel Snap's latest card, and I think he's a pretty crazy one. He lets you duplicate an on-reveal effect for only two energy, which, of course, if you have a really high value on reveal, that can be a really efficient sort of play. Uh, he also moves cards, which can offer a little bit of a surprise factor as well, moving stuff around where your opponent may not expect it. And I've got about 17 different decks in which I want to try Grandmaster. There are so many on reveal cards, of course, where this looks like a really fun option. So I had to start with the granddaddy of them all for Grandmaster, the OG Black Panther on reveal deck, because this has multiple really high powered on reveals. I think most key for this deck though is Black Panther and uh, there's some really cool lines with Black Panther and Arnim Zola in particular in this deck. You can do things like play a, uh, a Black Panther on five. And then if you have Ravona, you can play an Arnim Zola and a Grandmaster together on the same turn, which can be pretty cool. You can basically send your Black Panther mid and then send your Arnim Zola mid to follow it with your Grandmaster that will duplicate those Black Panthers again, basically creating more cycles on multiple Black Panthers. Uh, you can do the same thing with Magic as well, you know, playing the Grandmaster on turn seven, even weaving in a Shang-Chi or something to, to swing a little harder. Odin can do similar things too, of course, in the stack with Black Panther and Arnold So a few different in-game lines for this with crazy Black Panther combos. Add a Wong in the mix if you like as well. And if you don't hit all those perfect lines, sometimes just shifting a Black Panther's power around can be good. Sometimes, you know, you could duplicate an extra Shang-Chi. That could be kind of spicy. Uh, getting two Shang-Chi's at once on turn six. I don't think I actually do that in this video, but it was a line I kept looking for at least. So, you know, typical on reveal options still exist. Sometimes Wong, White Tiger, Odin is a great win condition. Other times you've got absolute shenanigans in this deck. And I had a pretty good run with this on day one. I went 10 and seven, almost 60%. I feel like there's some refinements you could make too in this. I don't know if you need both Storm and Magic, for instance, it seemed a little clunky sometimes but it was a fun deck grandmaster i'm like pretty strong on this card still like i liked it in this list i still see a lot of potential for this but there were moments where just like odin felt better and sometimes the zero power felt pretty risky so i don't know where i stand on this card just yet but like i said i got about 16 more decks to try with this one that may or may not be an exaggeration but anyway lots of fun to be had in this video of course so enjoy some of the crazy Grandmaster on reveal shenanigans for this grand reveal deck. Ooh, we love Ravona, we love magic, we love Wong. We we won't really love Odin that much. I, <laughs> I gotta do some fun Grandmaster stuff. But he's fine too. He's fine too. Don't don't let him fool you. He's okay. Oh my god, Comertage. Um so I need a spot. Like, this is a little tough, right? I, this is kind of hard to... I, I actually don't really know how to play this deck. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> this deck's, like, kind of hard to play. I mean, because here's the deal, right? It's like you don't actually need this deck to be perfect. If you get caught up on playing it perfectly, I think it goes... I think it goes south a little too quick. Now, I'm already mad at myself, though, because I don't... Like, I here's the deal, right? I want to play, like, Wong, Panther, Grandmaster... Zola type stuff, right? But I only have two spaces here, so I'm already kind of limiting myself a little bit too much. Um, because the Zola doesn't really get to cycle here now, ever if, if this full combo connects, anyway. Not that it necessarily has to, but ooh. Oh, I mean, honestly, we'll take it. That's Again, a little disruptive to my actual combo setup, but maybe I just don't even care about a combo setup. Maybe we just do the thing. Maybe we're just a Wong Ironheart deck now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't think we have to stick to a, a, a specific robust game plan here. Oh, interesting. It's a face off. So there's like, see, we still have something like this, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, or actually Zola and then Iron Heart, then Grandmaster. This is a really good chance to hit Black Panther. In which case we could do this next turn. The Zola hits randomly, so it's like real iffy about what you get, but you'd want you'd want a black well not that order, you know, but I mean realistically, if that hits Black Panther, it's better for Zola too, right? 
maybe that's the play and we still have iron heart of it whiffs completely which makes me kind of sad i guess if this hits storm though dude i am so sad man nice let's go let's go grandmaster gladiator that just hits storm which turns off comratage which is funny <laughs> but i still have space available importantly um whoa why did that fast forward oh it didn't hit pull off twice because of the walls i got another black panther oh my god are you kidding me i don't even know what's happening now dude i don't even know so this ends three cards Well, no, two cards, uh, which means Grandmaster's always going to hit a Black Panther and send it back mid, right? Dude, I don't even know, actually. I don't even know what's going to happen. This, <laughs> this got wacky. Go, yeah, that's going loud. Okay, so that means usually the Grandmaster hits that. Although, it, yeah, oh, oh, it will guaranteed hit that because Wong is gone. Oh, my God, this is so sick. <laughs> this is so sick. Dude, don't chunk Jimmy, though, please. <laughs> Don't shock TV, please. Don't shock TV, please. Dude, it's casual 384. Silver Surfer just does not feel like it's keeping up, right? They're not even turning off limo either, so we still have a whole nother, a whole nother cycle here. Um, okay, <laughs> they're like, no. I was waiting to see if they had a plan, but there's no plan. Okay, I don't know if I played this right at all. It seems like a lot could have gone wrong. But even if this Panther had rolled here, right, it would have gone to 32, and then Grandmaster would have pushed it back to 64, right? So I don't I don't know if this could have gone wrong. Because Wong never activates, right? Grandmaster only hits on reveal, so you know if you get Wong, you're still fine. Space Throne, we'll probably turn that off, right? That's fine. Panther Zola here can just win games on its own sometimes, especially with Storm locked off. That's nice. Snow Guard, they can also turn stuff off. Including Flooding, which I guess we need to keep in mind. Oh, we're happy to skip here. Easy. Let's just skip anyway, so <laughs> great news. Maybe this will pressure the opponent more than me. They're so sad they missed Ravona or something. We just don't care at all. Hmm. Nor Dimension. Another good card to turn off, potentially. Um... Could turn this off first. Then magic here. I would honestly kind of like magic and storm together a lot of the time. Save Nord Dimension for my combo pieces later. Oh, bro, look at this guy. Look at this guy, dude. Right now I can skip turn four anyway. I don't care. Maybe play a wall? I get it, but otherwise, I got nothing to do. Yeah, we skip anyway. We're happy. We love this. We love skipping. So, uh, actually, Panther on five, Zola on six into Grandmaster is insane here. This is really nice. If it connects, we actually don't need much more fanciness than this. This is one of them real fancy plays. Real easy, fancy plays. Uh, I could even uh, throw some stuff behind the Grandmaster too, I guess, right? Doesn't hurt much, I guess. So Iron Lad, don't hit like a Cosmo, please God. That's fine, Devil Dino's chill. It's not even that big usually. We can we can get work around all this giant Black Panthers. Um, okay, this is pretty much perfect. No disruption so far, which is nice. Now, they also didn't turn off the limbo, which is nice. We were equipped for it if they did, thankfully. So, you know, not a big deal, but they didn't. So, even better. Uh, is Odin just better for us? He sends the Odin to both these spots. I, I mean, he might be, but I wanted to play the Grandmaster because it's the Grandmaster, right? <laughs> Like, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fiddle with this. So Grandmaster sends Zola over. Zola hits Black Panther mid. Panther mid moves right in here. So it's like, um, we are strong on the flanks and not the mid. So maybe we could do something like this and hope to hit a, actually, can we f force a tiger to go mid here? Yeah, because we send the Zola mid. Jin's not revealed yet. So Panther goes left and right. 
Tiger goes here, forced to go mid, which I mean currently is not really worth much, but technically, technically does win a little bit. Maybe might be like a Shang Chi play or something. Okay, I mean I'm fine with this. I'm not sure if Odin's better or not. It, it might just be better depending on how much you want to like move your power around. I guess like how sneaky you want to be, right? We're fine with Shang Chi left though. It seems. I don't think this White Tiger is doing much though. Man, they're actually pretty big right did i need to play the white tiger mid I'm starting to have some questions here man like i'm only up by 14 with two cards coming i don't know no double dino man okay that's got to be most of their power right these are just going to be little chins and stuff still a little shaky though yeah we're fine okay keeping the hand size big but cool maybe tiger goes mid Thought there was a chance they just didn't play anything mid. But they were trying to beat the, the Panther, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, somebody do the math, right? Odin, like I said, it might just be better because Odin, again, it, it resolves the, 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 the Zola. So you'd have like 32 or actually 40 and, and 40. It's probably better. The only thing is this moves the power. So is the surprise value on grandmaster more valuable or but i also got some bonus cards too so i don't know somebody can do the math and just debate whether you think the surprise is worth any any reduction in power <sighs> morag that's totally chill for us we can just just uh we can just ignore that and zola into it or whatever nico Titan is pretty cool with our six drops. Maybe we rip magic right here. Oh, I would love to be able to shut this down. Memory is okay. Uh, interesting. Four cost Zola any good? I don't really need the magic necessarily. I, I'm a little worried about this Morag. Uh, some ways I like this better because I leave my sides open for good Grandmaster plays. And and I think this benefits them just as much. And I don't really need it, right? It doesn't actually matter to me. Ooh, Panther on five, Zola on six. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Two Deadpools. I mean, that's, that's fine, I guess, but it's kind of an extra energy tax on you almost in a weird way. Man, not not getting to hit the arm the the not getting to hit the uh the Hulkbuster on the Deadpool kind of feels bad there, doesn't it? It's a lot of scaling just deleted. <gasps> kinda wish this wasn't a limbo game. I think we probably go uh just Artem Zola into Odin here, right? Yeah, Wong we can save. Wong Grandmaster's pretty crazy, like a ton of power, but the only problem with the Zola is it does often enable a um a null. I might need Shang Chi instead, maybe. Since mid is clogged, we don't have like a reliable Grandmaster out here, I don't think. You can't you can't guarantee you hit the Panther. I'm just thinking about oh here is a Shang Chi, but they locked up here too. Can I just beat this on power? What about this though too? That's pretty good. Since the Odin mid and left, yeah, that's got to be the play, right? It's just these become really big. You can Grandmaster after, but it doesn't do anything. So yeah, this is probably fine. You, you just hope you're big enough to beat a null, which usually we are. Forty's got to be enough, right? Oh, uh, totally enough. No problem. No problems. No problems. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, spicy. 
Uh, okay, classic hand here, man. Maybe we just go classic this game. OG, oh, we just kind of play one of these decks, but looking pretty good to be honest. It's hard hard to lose this sometimes. Uh, as fun as all the Black Panther shenanigans are, like this looks pretty fun too. Daily Bugle, Tribunal. Oh, so this is like a, a fancy living tribunal deck. Uh, that's that's tough. It's hard to beat. Uh, I think we need Black Panthers to beat that, honestly. Can I do? Oh, Black Panthers speak of the devil. Okay. Yeah, with no Ravona, I need another turn. So let's play Magic. So Wong left. Panther left. We're looking for... Oh, dude, if, they, if I knew they were going to play magic, I would have chilled. That's usually pretty common, but they don't always have it, I guess. Uh, looking for Zola. Looking for... Uh, Grandmaster, maybe, right? Zola might be just better, especially if we get the Wongs. Basically, with a Tribunal deck, you know, if you get to, like, 30, 40 range, you're usually okay. Depends a little bit on the how, how giga crazy they go, but usually you're kind of okay-ish. Uh, Shrunk Chi's not very good usually because it's like Onslaught Iron Man Tribunal. You don't really have a lot of plays there, right? We get the Zola? No Zola. I guess I can do my own Tribunal thing, right? Just try to win like that. Just make a really big Panther in a Tribunal. See if I can outscale theirs. I don't know. It's going to be tough, but we can try. It is a very large Black Panther, so maybe we just outscale. This might have been the key all along. I, I think I try. Well, this is actually bigger than the Zola stuff anyway, isn't it? Now that I'm looking at it, maybe this was the key all along. This might actually do the job, dude. They're thinking, did he get the tribunal, bro? That's what they're thinking right now. Did this man get the tribunal? How big are they, too, is the question. We're only 279, so not that big. Uh, let's see, dude. Let's see. How big are they? This is a funny game. 94. That's good. 94 is insane. Iron Lad. Oh, they're just... Oh, come on. They actually hit the Iron Man. That does mean there's no iron, no second Iron Man other than Onslaught, of course. But MODOK! Is it Hella? Hella Tribunal? Oh, we definitely beat Hella Tribunal. I think Onslaught, like crazy Iron Man Onslaught Tribunal had a chance, but Hella Tribunal's never big enough. This is more like in the 30 range usually or something. Not in the 90s range. Yeah, 32 range, 30, 37, 38. I mean, it's still good, 40. Crazy steal, dude. We got so lucky to steal this. I mean, obviously we would have beat 40 with our regular deck too, I think, usually. Although 40 is close. 32 is common for the Black Panthers, but pretty fun game. Okay, Grandmaster's up. Cool. Free White Tiger, maybe. Honestly, uh, Wong White Tiger Grandmaster is pretty good. And a District X game, that might be enough to carry. Yeah. That might be all we need. It's a lot of points. District X games just typically have such a few points that uh, something like this can do a ton of work. Onslaught Wong would be fun if we could cheat it out. So does Ironheart really do much for me? Nah, let's save that. I really think it's just Wong Ironheart Grandmaster, man. Oh, they got a Wong mid. Zabu Wong. Electro's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean... This is three eight eights. Oh, Negasonic. But we don't really have to worry about that. This, this looks real good to me, man. I don't know. Oh, dude, they got a white. Dude, are you seriously randomly generated white tiger? Come on. <laughs> That's so stupid, dude. I, that actually tilts me a lot. I'm honestly pretty tilted by that, if I'm being real. Um, I mean, yeah, maybe. You are actually joking. Bro, come on. Are you serious? 
why bother with a district x game dude it doesn't matter at all oh my god dude that is so tilting <sighs> that's so gross man like come on they had wong and odin in hand and they just randomly generated the white tiger dude Ugh, I mean, honestly, I didn't end up with that much power anyway. All my power went mid. I'm so tilted right now, dude. This game's so boring right now. Oh, Elysium creates some pretty fun opportunities, maybe. I like Storm on two mid. That's cool. Um, We don't need Ravona for the big combo in this case. Armor? We would want a Wong here then, probably. We can't destroy uh, Panther there so wong panther zola grandmaster is kind of the dream uh that's actually complete normally i'd be sad about losing a ravona but it just doesn't matter here because of elysium uh they are way ahead on this storm which normally we'd be scared about but i think is totally fine for um like our panther deck oh my god dude we're just gonna have this ready to go in no time still of course, prone to disruption, obviously. I would still actually like a magic as well, to be to be truthful. So I have more time to make sure I hit that Odin in case, or excuse me, the Artem Zola in case I don't hit the Artem Zola. What is this? Kind of like a tempo deck. What the heck? That's awesome. I love that. I think people underplay these kinds of decks, to be honest. Just these cool, hard tempo decks. Yeah, I mean, I need to hit Zola in the next two turns for this plan to work. I'm also worried a little bit about Shang-Chi. I don't know if you love armor and a Shang-Chi deck together though. Like, does that make sense? It can, of course, but maybe this is more of like a Shuri list? That's like some Shuri, old school Shuri Red Skull vibes, maybe? I guess we're gonna find out, huh? Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty disruptive to be honest. It's not like game over or anything, just because now this doesn't always work. Opponent has priority. Maybe I just shang chi this. It's so hard to win mid though if I do because I can't I can't guarantee a panther hits. Like right now I have a pretty decent panther chance. Shang Chi here feels weird too though. Feels wasted. I mean, I could definitely pivot like this, just go for multiple iron heart hits. But it doesn't really help the main game plan. I think we just have to play the odds here. I, I think we just need to hit the 50-50 on Panther, basically. And I mean, it is a 50-50, right? You want to hit Panther, send it mid, then Artem Zola sends this. But you actually want to hit two 50-50s, maybe. There is probably like a Shang-Chi play here that's not terrible, but it, it's just all, where all my power is. It's kind of wasted. I think we just try to high roll this, to be honest. Try to high roll, man. Of course we don't high roll. Why would we ever? Wait, though, we might be big enough left. Hold up, hold up. Doesn't matter. <laughs> the low roll god. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Let's go. We're such idiots. We just lowered into the wall left. Oh my god, that's amazing. That's amazing. The hub. Oh, Crystal could help me find some. Ooh, we love Ravona. Ravona Crystal. Just help me find stuff. Yeah, like that. We need magic, maybe. A little extra time. We don't have that magic. It, you know, works without it if you hit all the pieces on time. But it wouldn't hurt. It'd be fun. Uh, Nor dimension, interesting. Uh, some ramp could be. It's not really required or anything, but I'm worried a little bit about board space if I start playing a bunch of these. I don't know, man. Maybe we avoid these. I don't know if we need them. I don't know if we need them. Star Lord, <laughs> yes. The randomly generated Star Lord is dodged like a genius. You see these plays? Do you see these plays, sir? Uh, we can storm here actually, so they don't benefit from Nor Dimension. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's probably okay. Uh, we might play Iron Lad right for a Wong. See if we can't hit a Wong. Would be cool. Nice little bonus, maybe. 
Oh, that's so fun. Man, I don't know what it is today, but everybody's playing like super annoying decks today. I, I, I it's like, hey, I want to find ways to break Grandmaster Crew is out in full force. And it's, uh, it's just, you know, kind of boring, I guess. Uh, it's fun for them, maybe. I, I don't know. A little bit boring for me, though. Bro, Arnim Zola can wreck this. Can I hit Arnim Zola right now? Please. It, I did hit the Wong. Oh my god, I hit the Wong. I really need... I mean, eat, well, actually, you know what? Grandmaster's insane, too. What am I talking about? Uh, let's just do this, maybe? I have priority somehow. That's crazy. Which means I am a little bit susceptible to a Viper here. But I'm giving them two Hobgoblins. And I'm getting two white tigers as well. This is actually pretty insane. This sends over both hobgoblin and white tiger because of the Wong. Well, they only go mid, I guess, right? But for some reason, I, for some reason I keep thinking Grandmasters is not giving them two. It's giving them one. Excuse me. Um, hopefully the eight rolls left, I think. Although, I don't know. We have New York, so there's still going to be some flexibility, I suppose. Um, but this is pretty sick. Okay, that's totally fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. We, we needed the Hobgoblin tap. Oh, it doesn't go in order. It picks it randomly. Oh, that's annoying. Now the Hobgoblin can't move. Are you serious? Oh, that's actually annoying. If I'd known that, I probably would have played the Grandmaster first, actually. I didn't know that, though. Well, I mean, this is still a pretty good finish, though. Like, a ton of power. Galactus here is no good. Yeah, we can't complain. This actually worked out pretty well. Not exactly how we wanted. It doesn't go in order. It picks randomly, which kind of makes sense. That's how Artem Zola works with, with Wong as well, I guess. So maybe I should have expected that, huh? Huh. What are we going to see here? This is surprising to me. This Ironheart could still win us right. 9-11. Can't be that big, can it? It's not. Yeah, nice. Sweet game, dude. That's cool. Yeah, Grandmaster covered a lot there, man. Victory. Okay. Nice. Okay, magic we dig. Can we get Ravona early one time? Ooh, Ganalab. That'd be fun to turn off if the opponent overcommits to it, right? Pretty good magic spot in general. Oh, there might be some overcommitment happening. Let's see. Oh, we, we like Ravona a lot, yeah. With a magic game in particular, Ravona is still pretty chill here. We'll have time, plenty of time for Ravona, I think. Um, oh, big overcommitment happening, yes. I Maybe I should have let them overcommit, to be honest. I do have Shang-Chi, not in hand, though. Not in hand, so. There's gonna be plenty of Shang-Chi targets, I imagine. Grandmaster, okay, we got some, we got some, we got some gas in the tank here. I would love a Wong, man, but even if not, like, um, Panther left into Arnim Zola Grandmasters, probably enough to kind of carry on its own. Oh my god, dude, the gas is in the tank. <laughs> Let's go. The magic here is kind of making this excessive, right? We don't actually need, um, we, we 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 could have well i guess we drew wong off curve so we do we do kind of need it uh but normally you don't have to have the magic it's just a little bonus sometimes uh i mean yeah let's go man we're gonna have i mean to some extent the 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 the, the second wave of artem zolas is probably unnecessary and will not often hit great targets oh yeah, it actually just kind of got better. That's interesting. Like, like that Knoll is going to be matching the Panthers always. Well, I guess, you know, we could just we could just Grandmaster here, maybe. Well, no, we got to win left, too, though. I need Shang-Chi. This is a 50-50 on the Shang-Chi, isn't it? Bro. Oh man, that's like the one thing that really counters this game plan with Arnim Zola. Bro, I really need Shang-Chi. Can't I can't do a 50-50 though. Ironheart's not good enough, right? I mean, technically maybe Ironheart's good enough. Oh man, I don't I don't 
know about this, dude. This is iffy, dude. Uh, dude, I don't know. We're gonna do that. I don't know. I don't know. I, this is hard, dude. I don't know. I don't know. This this doesn't destroy anything, which plays better for Null, I guess, right? This should this should actually be okay-ish, maybe right. We think we think we're pretty good right here. Yeah, that's fine. We're not actually putting any power left. I don't think so. Th this should be fine. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, right's definitely fine. Okay. Yeah, this was this was probably correct. Probably always right. Wakanda forever. Scary though. I mean, a weird pivot, right? Weird, weird kind of pivot here. But because uh, we really didn't get much back left. I mean, the Panther. If there wasn't an all right, we we always just go Arnim Zola, just do our thing. Hope the Arnim Zola hits some cool Black Panthers and stuff. There's a lot of like fodder bodies out, so there's a chance the Arnim Zolas did not connect on a second wave of Black Panthers. Um, but but that's okay too. <sighs> oh, Onslaught Citadel with like Wong. This might be uh, like a more traditional game. I don't know if we need all the spice on this one necessarily. We can still try. Like we'll magic right. See what we think about what whether we get a Wong or not. Oh, um, I mean, I guess we can still magic right. Uh, oh, baby, baby Arnim Zola one time, baby, baby Arnim Zola one time, baby. Please, Arnim Zola one time, please, please. That's all we ask. Um, do we bother to magic here? Because my magic, I don't really fix my curve anyway, right? Because I don't have a Ravona. I don't think we bother to magic here, man. I don't have Arnim Zola, though. What am I doing with my life? Like, what's the play? Is it just White Tigers, I guess? Yeah, White Tigers are actually still pretty insane. Oh, man. They broke me with Goose, though. Wakanda forever. Creepy Goose skin. Wakanda forever. Yeah, I mean, I, you don't feel very good about White Tiger winning, right? And that's a 50-50 that's a already. Uh, there's no good Iron Lad play, though, either. Like, I guess technically Shang-Chi Iron Lad, but I have priority. All right, man, big old 50-50 here. <laughs> Let's win with the White Tiger, right? We got this. Easy. Easy. <laughs> it worked. What were they planning to win with, though? I don't understand. You know this doesn't win because you have zero and ten. I don't know what the, the like. It's cool. You did the thing. You know it worked. But you only gained two power here and zero here. Maybe they thought I would just pass here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they were expecting shenanigans here. Uh, I don't know. Shang Chi would have worked if we didn't have priority. What a win, dude. What a win. Classic victory there. Classic victory.